Logan Paul. Logan Paul. What the fuck is up, everyone? Welcome back to definitely not another Logan Paul video. My name is Leon Lush, and I always appreciate your attention for just a few short minutes. Oh, not another Logan Paul video. God, every commentator is just milking this situation for views. You're as bad as Logan. Listen to me very closely. I will milk your mother for views if you don't shut your horse mouth. But seriously, by association, this video is kind of like a little bit about Logan Paul, but it's really about YouTube and the fact that after over a week of not responding to this situation, they finally broke their motherfucking silence. They said this, In open letter to our community, many of you have been frustrated with our lack of communication recently. To put it lightly, you're right to be. You deserve to know what's going on. Like many others, we were upset by the video that was shared last week. Suicide is not a joke, nor should it ever be a driving force for views. As Anna Akana put it perfectly, that body was a person someone loved. You do not walk into a suicide forest with a camera and claim mental health awareness. It's true. We expect more of the creators who build their community on YouTube, as we're sure you do too. The channel violated our community guidelines. We acted accordingly bullshit and we are looking at further consequences it's taken us a long time to respond understatement of the century but we've been listening to everything you've been saying we know that the actions of one creator can affect the entire community so we'll have more to share soon on steps we're taking to ensure a video like this is never circulated again now somewhere predictably youtube got blasted uh, pretty good in the replies to this tweet it's almost like a hobby that I think started in 2017 and now moving into 2018 to hate YouTube. You know, it's like no matter what they do, it's just not good enough. YouTube sucks. YouTube, you fucked this up. You fucked that up. I like to give YouTube the benefit of the doubt, right? It cannot be easy running the biggest platform for online content in the world. One of the biggest websites in the world. There is so much that goes into making this a relatively smooth operation. And they don't always do a good job, but I think for the most part, just the fact that YouTube exists and you and I or your neighbor or your brother or your dog all have the opportunity to make a few dollars by creating videos with very rudimentary knowledge of fucking how to make videos. Just having that opportunity alone is, is something that I think people take for granted. So yeah, YouTube fucks up a lot, but let's not just hate YouTube, let's appreciate YouTube because it's fucking awesome. But yeah, it's okay to call out uh, the fact that they took over a week to respond to this incident. Well listen, I didn't mind this reply, I thought it was pretty well written, obviously they had plenty of time to come up with something, I just don't think there's any excuse to wait as long as they did to address the situation. They should have at least put out a temporary placeholder statement saying, listen, we know what's going on and we're looking f into it further. Like the day of, or maybe the day after. But to wait over a week is, is inexcusable in my opinion. But I also thought it was interesting that they didn't name Logan Paul. They just insinuated who it was. They said, uh, many of you were upset by the video that was shared last week. The video, obviously insinuating, we know what they're talking about, but I just find it interesting they never said his name. They also said, the channel violated our community guidelines. We acted accordingly and are looking at further consequences. Now, acted accordingly? I don't know. According to Ben the Trusted Flagger, who's a pretty reliable source of what goes on at YouTube, that video was reviewed and okayed. It accrued 6 million views, was put on the trending page before it was manually taken down, not by YouTube, but by either Logan Paul or his editor. Acted accordingly? To the community guidelines, that's maybe a little bit of a stretch. That's a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of a stretch. There, YouTube. Anyways, it's nice of... to see that YouTube's at least addressing it finally and isn't just gonna sweep it under the rug and pretend like it never happened. I don't think there was any way that the internet was gonna let them do that, and they were just trying to figure out how to best and most appropriately move forward. Probably 
while protecting their bottom line and doing as much damage control as possible. I mean, they have had a tough year with the adpocalypse, with the PewDiePie thing, all the negative press that they got over the last 12 months uh, in the MSM. It's like, I, I kind of understand why they took so long to respond. I feel like they're on their heels right now because they've created this beast, this content machine that they cannot control. And when shit like this happens, they're kind of like, what the fuck do we do? I don't, you know what I mean? So when it something of this magnitude that blew up as big as it did, internationally, mainstream media outlets all over the world were broadcasting the story. I think they just kind of were shell-shocked and waiting to try and figure out how to approach it. And now hopefully they have a game plan. Now to expound on this topic a bit further, I want to point our eyeballs towards a tweet from our friendly neighborhood content cop, iDubs. He said, it's such a great thing we all went ape shit. I can't wait to find out what this means. Sarcasm being laid on thick there, and he underlines this part of YouTube's tweet that says, So we'll have more to share soon on steps we're taking to ensure a video like this is never circulated again. So moving forward, I think the trickle-down effect from this entire debacle is probably the most concerning part for just your average creator like you or like me. Uh, you know, we saw this with the whole PewDiePie situation where one big fuck up up top trickles down and affects everybody across the whole platform. And you see YouTube say something like this and you're thinking, oh, fucking great. Like, is there going to be more hoops to jump through before you can monetize your videos? Is there going to be, you know what I mean? Like, what does this mean? What, what steps are they taking to ensure that a video like this is never circulated again because I know it's not going to be additional human reviewers, it's going to be some sort of algorithmic change that continues to flag more videos and we've seen how well that's worked over the past several months pretty badly. But whatever the case may be, in the future I just look forward to bending over, grabbing my ankles and spreading KY jelly up and down the length of my ass cheeks and preparing myself for a proper pounding from YouTube. And we'll take it with a smile on our face because there's no alternative to YouTube right now. <laughs> so take it we will. Now I want to stay in the same lane but shift gears here for a second and talk about this part. The channel violated our community guidelines, we acted accordingly and we are looking at further consequences. Now since this response from YouTube I've seen a lot of people on the internet saying, oh you gotta ban Logan Paul, ban Logan Paul, remove him from YouTube. No second chances, get rid of him from YouTube. So I took to Twitter because I was genuinely curious at least, you know, for, from people that follow me on Twitter, like what their thoughts were, I asked, do you honestly think Logan Paul should be removed from YouTube? Objectively speaking and disregarding your personal feelings about him, do you think that would be a fair consequence? Now, there were over 340 replies to this tweet and some great discussion going on. The overall consensus seems as though people don't think Logan Paul should be banned from YouTube, more along the lines of a community strike, and just treat it like you would treat any other creator. Now one of the reasons I think people are watching this situation so closely is because of the stigma of preferential treatment that YouTube gives to larger family-friendly online creators like Logan Paul. So now with all eyes on them, YouTube has to decide whether they want to appease the internet mobs of bloodthirsty Logan Paul haters or protect their golden boy who brings them a lot of fucking money every year. <laughs> yeah. I think there's probably a lot of email correspondence going on between like YouTube execs and Logan Paul management shooting it back and forth and they're like, listen, we want to keep you on YouTube because you're good for our brand, but the world's starting to find out how much of a dickhead you are, so if you could dial it down to a seven, that, that would be great. Now if it was up to me, I'd have him stuffed in a Ziploc bag, duct taped to a cinder block, and dropped in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, but we can't always get what we want, can we? Rolling Stones taught me that. Tough life lesson. Now that's just my personal feelings about Logan. When it comes to YouTube, I don't think he should be banned. I think maybe just a community guideline strike and business as usual. Now, do I think Logan is a terrible influence on today's youth? Yes, I do. Would I be happy with Logan Paul gone off of YouTube? Yeah, I wouldn't lose any sleep at night. But I don't like the precedent it would set if they just banished him forever for his first offense, technically. And let's be honest, there's not a single chance in hell that Logan's gonna be banned from YouTube, but I find joy in speculation. So to wrap things up, I'm gonna read some of your guys' responses to this question. I'm only gonna get to a few. There's way too many to go through all of them, and I'm already running a little bit long in time than I would like on this video. My man Quentin Reviews says, I think he should get a strike three and he's out, just like the rest of us. 
I have to agree there. And there's a lot of responses just like that. People that are saying, you know, you should just treat them like anybody else, give them a community guideline strike, and then fucking move on with it. And that seems to be... That seems to be the consensus. Yorgi says, Seeing as other channels have been removed for much less, I would say it'd be fair to remove Logan Paul too, but that's assuming that that's a fair punishment in the first place, which it isn't. In my opinion, the main problem here is YouTube isn't dealing equal punishment across the whole platform. That kind of circles back to this preferential treatment that some creators get, and I think he raises a good point. You see a lot of cases where people's channels get terminated for nothing, really, like a far less of a transgression than what Logan did. Uh, oftentimes you hope it's a mistake, but a lot of people don't get their channels back. My friend Mr. Glowworm says no. He made a stupid decision, but there's TOS and strikes for a reason. He shouldn't be insta-banned just because the majority of the population was offended. I do believe that since his channel is so marketed towards children, YouTube should pay close attention to his content. I think this recent incident shed a lot more light to the rest of the world onto what kind of example he's setting to millions and millions of children around the world. And I hope, you know, I don't really know if there's anything to be done about that. I just hope Logan Paul can maybe become less of a douchebag and eat a little bit of humble pie from this incident, you know, and stop being such a fucking cock everywhere he goes. I don't know. Kyle McLaughlin says, I think he should be banned. He needs a severe punishment. Listen, some people like a heavy hand. Can't hate Kyle for having his opinion. I don't share the same opinion, but there are a lot of people that feel that way. Loss of monetization. Yeah, hit them where it hurts. One way to get people to act is to hit them in the wallet. And lastly, my dear friend, I still live at home, said, beheading. <laughs> I'm on board, to be honest with you, but what I found more interesting was the, the follow-up to that thread. I replied with lots of lettuce, and then he said, damn, Leon, you gave me hella clout for a sec. And then someone responded with his profile picture, which is just adorable, and said, you need a lot of clout, my dude. To which he said, that ain't what your bitch said when I hit it from the back. Oh! Okay, beautiful, responded Henry. And I mean, this is just, how is Twitter? It is, what a beautiful place. Fantastic. Anyways, that's it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment if you're not a loser. <laughs> I got a new video coming in a few days. It's not going to have anything to do with Logan Paul, so I'm, I'm very excited for that breath of fresh air. And I have a new music video coming shortly after that, which I'm also uh, thrilled to be sharing with you guys. Just need to finish up the recording and record the music video. But until then, Godspeed. And continue the blessings of his greatness on high. I will leave you with these words from Nigel. Do you ever wonder if you're too old to be rambling on about petty YouTube drama? Peace.